Mama Shenge was just five years old when her parents were killed in her presence in 1994 in what is now Bujisra district of the eastern province and many have long since wondered what happened to her after footage of her amidst the bodies of her dead parents at the time emerged. They were victims of the genocide perpetrated against Tutsis. Her story is similar to that of many others who were just children when the genocide was implemented and many have now made impressive progress in their lives. Even after terrible experiences, it is still possible to be happy, and even though that happiness may not be complete, you must at least try. People should understand that I am alive and well, even though they saw me on that video in that way. I push on despite the many difficulties I have faced, and will continue surviving, and so will they. I worked in different banks and afterwards went into business on my own. I have been able to progress in my life and now have a factory with 60 machines and I employ people, some of whom you can see here today. I have other businesses also, so yes, I have managed to develop. Today, many female genocide survivors are seen as heroic for the way they have managed to rebuild their lives despite the horrors they were forced to endure. And officials in the Ministry of Gender and Family Promotion have noted that helping such people to make progress in their lives assists the society in general to also recover from the trauma of genocide. The 3rd of May has been set aside as a day to remember the women and children who were killed during the 1994 genocide perpetrated against Tutsis here in Rwanda.